Well, hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life. This week, Joan and I are at Ocean Lakes Family Campground. Yes, it is, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Wait till you see this place. This is an RV city into itself. Well, hi, it's Jerry. This week, Joan and I are at Ocean Lakes Family Campground in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We've been hearing about this place for years and have been wanting to come. I understand this is an absolutely amazing place. It is, it is like a city unto itself. Something like 895 camping spots. But you know what? It is a family campground. So much to see, so much to do, incredibly customer focused. I can't wait to show you the inside. Look, this place is a destination. We're gonna be here a week. We may never leave. Here's the big busy thoroughfare, uh, business 17 that goes into Myrtle Beach proper, up toward the beach, up toward Boardwalk. You're probably about 12 to 15 minutes south of the Boardwalk, just to kind of give you an idea where we're located. And then as you come into the area, here is the entrance to Ocean Lakes Family Campground. Look at this, it's massive. And um, they've got plenty of customer service agents. They give you a big book with all the fun things to do, coupons, coupons, all that type of stuff. And they do have express check-in that you can do that online or call them. Uh, if you're coming in on the weekend in the summer and it's gonna be busy, busy, you can kind of skip the lines. I can't wait to show you this campground on the inside. It is an amazing 890 something plus location of campers. It's incredible. I wanted to mention a couple things to you that if you did want to you know, come here for a week and you don't own a um, golf cart, not a problem. They have golf cart rental here on site that you can take advantage of. And they got a lot of them. They're everywhere. Look at this place. They even have a service center here for them if you're having trouble with your golf cart. And then if you notice off to the distance down there, they have an RV center. So, you know, we campers, we break them. Yep. And sometimes you might have a difficult time getting them repaired or getting some parts. And then they have the uh, sales parts and service center here that they can come and help you out and fix your camper while you're here and not mess up your vacation. Something, huh? If you're, you know, a social butterfly and you want to do bingo or ceramics or any of the fun stuff that they have here, bingo, <laughs> lots of bingo. And of course, church service on Sundays, right at the entrance, they show all the fun things that you can do. All right, let's head down to the campground. And we have made it to the campground. This is the top end of the campground. This would be closest, closest to the uh, water, water park. I think this is referred to as the K area. This area up here is a mixture of both uh, paved and unpaved sites really something to see where all the tags are from people are just from everywhere here a lot of folks came here to get away from the snow up north but uh, you see the top end of the top end of the campground and again there's uh, they refer to that as Sandy Harbor Sandy Harbor and uh, they're getting it ready for the season. You can hear a little bit of racket going on. Just, I'm gonna walk through a couple of these campsites. You can see them over here. This is K60 I'm walking through here now. Just see how large these are, they're really big. And then over there you see uh, bath facilities that they have. I've got those located here in several, several spots. And then, um, K44, which is not paved, a smaller one, where Mr. Squirrel right there is going to. These are a little bit shorter. K45, but do notice they've all got cable and power sewer. More bathhouses. Let's walk down here and I'll show you where Joan and I are parked. 
this is our uh, camping spot. Um, it's, you know, we've, we've got our trees out here, <laughs> palm trees that is, but uh, everything here is pretty much uh, paved. Uh, there's some spots uh, way off in the distance up there. You might find one or two that aren't, but most of these are concrete. And uh, they're nice and level and, you know, full hookup, everything. Uh, you name it, we've got it, 50 amp, 30 amp, a sewer, um, cable, you know, we've got everything here. Uh, but the sites are really nice and large. Um, some people are probably concerned that, oh man, these things are packed in. But, you know, again, we're at the beach. Uh, we'll walk down there in the second. It's, it's right down there at the end of the road. We're maybe less than 100 yards from it. And um, again, nice big spots. You know, some people talk about, oh my goodness, I, I go to the beach and I can't even get my awning out. That is not the case here. We've got plenty of space between us and our neighbors. So um, this isn't bad. I'm gonna walk you around. This is midweek, second week of March. And uh, this place was packed. They had some kind of, um, some kind of a deal this weekend and uh, it was just absolutely massive how many people were in this campground. But uh, I'm, we're really happy with it. And uh, let's, uh, let, let's walk around a little bit and I'll just kind of show you what this, uh, what this area looks like. We'll walk on down here to the beach like I shared. It's uh, probably less, less than 100 yards from the beach, maybe, maybe something like 50 yards from where we're at. Now, as we walk around this campground, I'm going to be showing you just how big this thing is. If I'm not mistaken, good morning. If I'm not mistaken, this campground is 895 camping spots. 895. We wanted to stay in something that was large. <laughs> I've never done that before. It's large. But uh, let's walk down here and I'll show you the beach. It's pretty. Uh, second week of March, there's not going to be a lot of people on it, but. I'm wearing shorts for the first time this year, and that's really nice. We just came up from there maybe, I don't know what, 25 yards, 30 yards at the most. And then right here we are. Uh, for those who are in this very large campground, uh, there is, this looks like a golf cart used car lot. <laughs> there are tons of them here. But uh, we could really, really, really hear the ocean this morning as it was coming up on high tide we could we could hear it and even though it's uh, about 75 today that is not going to distract people from coming out and enjoying the beach look at this look at this this is really something big beach pretty sand pretty waves really nice acts and direct i mean just walk right out from the campground there's several of these spots i can't wait to show you all the amenities that they have here but it is really 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 nice this is such a pretty area so nice all right one last view of this pretty pretty myrtle beach second week of march i am not getting in the water that's for sure I'll save that for all my Canadian friends. <laughs> Not spring break yet, but I'm seeing a few kiddos out here running around and passing ball with dad. And let's, uh, let's walk back up here. I want to show you this campground. Again, I shared it was something like 895, 895 campers can come in here. It is a city but the amount of amenities that are here are phenomenal. I was talking to some folks here who come here with their kids and they said they come to the campground for a week to 10 days and, um, and they never leave. They just stay here the whole time and you'll see why here in a few minutes. This is uh, more than a destination. I mean, it's, it really is a bit of a resort. So uh, let's look around a little bit more. So one of the things you might want to think about when you come to a campground that's 895 spots, where do I park? Well, uh, I'm going to be showing you or providing a link uh, to the map of this facility. It, you know, it's basically a city into itself. So depending on what you're looking for, do you want close beach access like here? Or do you want to be over close to their uh, water park? Yeah, they've got a water park here. 
Um, or do you want to be down where the basketball courts and volleyball courts are? Well, they have all those types of things that are here in the area. So I will, it's it, with this many camping spots, it's virtually impossible for me to, uh, you know, show you, um, you know, number after number after number like I do in some of the smaller parks. So what I'll do is provide a link to their map and um, then you can kind of get an idea of where you might want to stay when you come here. It really is something. And again, you've just got these spots that you can just walk right out into the beach and, and enjoy that. Good morning. And um, just really nice. So let's go down here. I want you to see some of the fun things there is just to do here. It really is a fun place. Okay, I want to show you the water park. Unfortunately, it's going to be closed this time of the year. I think it'll be opening up soon. I don't know the exact date, but it's starting to get warmer. But I, I did want to show you what these uh, camping spots look like. Um, they are big rig friendly. I mean, there's, a, there's ample parking. I shared that. And uh, you can see everything is paved. Everything is extraordinarily level. Over there in the distance, you see uh, they've got fantastic bathhouses here they're just absolutely beautiful and um, <clears throat> there you see your water you hook up your cable you know they got full cable here as well and again the sites aren't too close together that'll kind of give you an idea as you you look that look at that mallard and then you got that uh, super C over the next to it you see they're not too tight plenty of space between each one you know, they've even got their, uh, their their car park between the two, and they still have a ton of space. So, you know, you see that here. It's not too, I mean, it is, it is going to be crowded. I mean, let's face it, you're at the beach, right? <laughs> East Coast Beach, which is a lot different. But uh, nice. All right. We're going to look at the water park. I can't go inside, but I will uh, stick the camera up so you can kind of get a good idea of what it looks like over there. All right, so the kids are antsy. <laughs> and, and they've had enough of the beach. That's all right. Let them come to the arcade. Isn't this absolutely <laughs> crazy? This is really something. Look at this big, massive arcade. It is just kitty, kitty, kitty friendly. Isn't that something? Oh my gosh. And then in season, you have a you know a little cafe here that you can enjoy while you're at the pool all right i came out of the arcade and uh i talked to the folks they're gonna let me walk around and just kind of show the inside here and all the things to do um this place is huge just huge so i'm uh there are a few sunbathers out here i'm gonna be uh kind to them and not put them in the video but uh, i did want you to just kind of get a general look of the area so we're inside the uh, inside the splash area. It's just so much to take in. Um, look here, they've got mini golf inside this area. Look at this. It's just, I keep saying this area is just so much you can do here. You have the beach, you have the arcade, volleyball, basketball. I think they even have a skater park for the, for the guys with the skateboards, kitty pool, for the, and then there's the big uh, the big swimming pool over there. You can see that. We'll walk over here. And you can see some of the uh, some of the other spots as well. Plenty of seating, both shade as well as sun. Whatever you might be looking for. Another splash area for the little ones that's over here. So the, that's a little splash pool, splash area for the little ones. And then over here to my left, here you see the turn for part of the lazy river that I showed you earlier, and you see the slides off to the side. really is quite a place this is something else all right i hear they even have an indoor pool i 
probably won't go in there, but that would be nice on this chilly, kind of semi-chilly day. And directly from the arcade, I don't think there's anyone in here, I won't disturb them. Here is the indoor pool. Yep, an indoor pool. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's warm. It is really warm in here. So there's not going to be a problem with uh, freezing in this weather. Full indoor pool. Wow. And uh, it, I'm seeing this in a number of different places. A lot of these facilities have handicap access, uh, which I think is absolutely superb. Look at this. I bet this will be busy this weekend. Uh, here's the water park I'm going to, uh, I can't go inside, uh, but I will give you a peek over the fence. Uh, you can rent golf carts here. And if you're not able to bring one and you want to rent one for the week, you can do that. As you see here, there's tons and tons of golf cart parking. Or, you know, if the kiddos are going to want to spend more time in the water park than the beach, then uh, look at here, you can get these camping spots. This is like K72, a K71, you know, in the K region uh, when you look at that. It might stand for kiddos, I don't know. Uh, but that's going to be right here. And if you bring a big group and you need to use the bath facilities, they're just right over there. They're just seconds away. But uh, let me show you what the let me show you what the water park looks like. It's really amazing. All right, I know it's off season, but you can still get a good idea when you get ready to come. Looks like they're filling everything up with water and getting it ready for the season. But you've got uh, you know places to to eat and snack. Uh, there's an arcade over there in the distance. I'll kind of show you that in a bit. But they've got you know, full-size Olympic pool here. They've got kiddie pool. They've got splash pool. And then, as you notice over here, and I'll try to get a little closer to it, you see, you know, all kinds of uh, fast slides and tube slides. Bottom line, it's a water park. Here's a good view of uh, kind of the lazy river, the floating, the floating area. You can see how it kind of meanders around. And uh, maybe I can get just a little bit better of a close-up. I wish, I wish it, it was warm enough to where I could show you the kids coming off this thing. That'd be fun. That's a good slide. It's a big water park. I want to show you a few of the things that uh, exist right here on the edge of the beach. Again, this is just you know, part of the campground. This is referred to as Sandy's Down Under. So uh, I'll kind of give you an idea of what this looks like. And uh, yep, when the season's kicking off, they have a snack shack here right by the beach. So you don't have to walk around for everything that you may want. And what do you have here? But, you know, a nice little picnic area that you can come up and enjoy these awesome 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 views of the of the beach that's up here look at this yes yes it is some kind of pretty now if you'll notice you know we're right over there in that area toward the end um, probably 100 yards from that high rise there are a lot of natural dunes so even though even though you may be here with you know the front row seat to the beach Unless you're in a big class A where you're up high, you're probably not going to see it. So, you know, they're not, they're not going to move the dunes. <laughs> but uh, look at this. Really nice. So you can bring you a lunch if you want to get out of the sand and come up here and get out of the sun for a little bit on those hot summer days. And, um, you know just enjoy the beach and you can see over there just again there's the big water slides off there into the distance you know this area over here you can just take advantage of everything you know you've got your camping spots you got the beach the arcades the water park the whole gamut coming up from this pavilion area we'll walk down here uh, there's still a lot of stuff uh, down here on the end and uh, I think this is even wheelchair friendly here. Yeah, this is a ramp. So uh, for those who have mobility issues, you can still come up here and enjoy the fantastic views if you're not able to make it out on the beach. Isn't that nice? 
All right, we're going to continue on again. There is the pavilion area. I think they have church here on Sunday mornings. Uh, you bring your lawn chair. I think they have a little church service. A pastor comes here from the area if you like that type of thing. And then we have more fun for the kiddos. We've got a playground. Look at the little ones down here playing right here on the edge of the beach. Now you may be wondering when you look at all this, you see all these houses here. There's something like 2,000 houses in this area. Most of these things are look like they're brand new, so well maintained. But that's uh, on the back side. And uh, again, they really do a great job keeping this thing looking nice. But look at the playground area. And then plenty of parking for you here. So they got things for, you know, jungle gyms and you know, baby swings that they can play on. Nice volleyball courts. I enjoy me some volleyball. I think they've got basketball down here. We'll go look at that. So we're finding fans as we walk around. <laughs> Lots of kids here out for school. Spring break early in a couple spots. And they are stretching their legs and heading back and forth to the beach. They want to show you the basketball courts up here. Every little spot has places for golf carts. That is not a problem. Not a problem at all. And here you see these very, very nice basketball courts. And uh, the guys taking advantage of that. You keep hearing golf cart after golf cart after golf cart come by. And you're right here at the beach. Look at that. There is the ocean. And every spot has golf cart parking. So continuing on from the pavilion that was up there in the basketball area, you can see just how much stuff is here. And look at this. Have you ever seen a cornhole tournament location like this with these uh, permanent, permanent corn, cornhole playing pieces? Look at that. That is something. Look at that. And then just more and more and more beach access. And uh, I think this is shuffleboard here. You can see that here. Horseshoe pit. Picnic area. Plenty of places for people to sit and enjoy the kiddos out here playing. And then more playground. Look at this. Isn't this nice? We're coming up from the campground, you see that behind me, and I wanted to show you several other things that's offered here at Ocean Lakes. Uh, this has been going on for almost two hours, I know, uh, through the, the miracle of video editing, you're not seeing that. Um, this is a little um, just convenience area that I wanted you to see here. That's, um, again, they just have so much that you can take advantage of. This is a, a convenience area that I wanted you to see. Um, this is Soapy Suds. Again, you see Sandy everywhere. That's kind of like their logo. Uh, Jim and I will be coming up here and taking advantage of this. 100 washer and dryers are located inside that. And then this is uh, referred to as Meat Neat. Uh, this is a you know, a little cafe. I think I'm gonna get me something cold to drink. I've been doing this for a while. All kinds of places here. Look, they've even got a stage over here. That's kind of neat. So yeah, as you walk over, they've got a little eating area for a um, little cafe here. And then they've got a stage. That's really nice. And then there, of course, there's the laundry. Do your laundry and come over here to meet and eat. And then they also have a very large convenience store here. So coming up from the meat and eat, there's Sandy Mart. So this is kind of like the convenience store. All things needed at the beach. And again, what I'm hearing is that people come here and they'll spend a week and never leave. Look at that pretty tree. Walking back up from the beach and uh, there's still quite a few spots left open, even though it's the second week of March, spring breakers will be coming in here soon and uh, talk to several of the kids that are here that uh, are already taking advantage of spring break. What a nice campground. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, it's different than what Jonah and I normally stay at, but I really like it. It really is a fun, cool place. God, that's what I love about this experience. I love RV life. Mm -hmm.